All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide, trips deep. Pros next, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Ready. What's going on everyone, ACAP24 here from Huddle.gg. Today's video we're going to talk about an exclusive play out of the Panthers playbook that's absolutely tough to stop out of the Gun Bunch offset. Now if this is the first time checking out our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification to make sure that you never miss any of our uploads. The play we're going to be talking about is called Y Curl. It's something we just dropped on our latest game plan on our website, which was written by John Beast. If you guys don't know who John Beast is, he is a um, pro player that just won the first MCS tournament of the year, um, considered one of the best in the world, um, obviously winning the first tournament. Um, he is the best of Madden 22. It's the you know the, the best way we can put it at this point. Beat Clef in the finals, somebody that also dropped his version of this offense from the Seattle Seahawks playbook on our website. So if you want to see the best two bunches in the world right now, um, you could definitely go ahead and get both their minds and form an amazing offense. Now, the reason why I'm doing this play because it's unique. It's something that like I said, you're probably not going to face as much because it's exclusive to the Panthers. And I'm going to show you one of the setups that John Beast uses that absolutely is a headache and just sets up the rest of his offense. Okay, so let's jump into it. What we're going to do here is just put the B receiver on a flat and we're going to motion them out. Okay, now I'm just going to do this against Mike Blitz um, 3 out of 335 um, wide, one of the most commonly used defenses. And you're going to see that you're going to be able just to hike this ball, throw it to him, get yourself five, six yards pretty easily, right? Now, more so than anything, what this is going to do is it's going to basically force your uh, opponent to have to do double stack coverage over there, right? What is exactly does that mean? It's a maple coverage. They're going to now have to take this um, play right here and put them on a hard flat. And then they're going to have to put the, the top receiver over here. Um, basically on something a little bit deeper um, in order to stop that. Now, when they do that, what you're going to see here is that you're going to be able to, you know, go ahead and uh, hike this ball. Now, the A is going to get open and he's just going to sit right underneath this coverage. OK, now I want to make sure that we, we discuss this because of the fact that what you're going to see is that once they go ahead and make their adjustment, the easy throw is now going to be the underneath to the tight end, right? So his guy goes this way, tight end sits down, you hit him, you get yourself easy catch. Now what's going to end up happening is the user has to cover that, right? They've taken all their resources. What I mean by that is everything on the right hand side is covering all that stuff over there. They're going to have to take this user who's usually kind of crouched down right here, but since they have to Mabel, they're taking away their blitz. What I mean by that is this guy is their blitzer. They have to go ahead and use that guy to cover that flat. So at this point, what they're going to do is they're going to take this user and they're going to cover the tight end. So we're going to simulate that and we're going to show you basically the next step in this, right? So you're going to see that everything's all set up here. This is how they're going to run it. So if the right side is, is now covered, right? What you're going to see is that you look to the right. Now you throw this ball right underneath to the left, okay? Against cover three, that, that route is going to be open all day. So what you're seeing is you're first going to look to the right. If you see that they're, you know, you, you're forcing them. See how it's really easy to read this? The guy with the, um, the red um, sleeves right here. If you start seeing that he's going this way, you know it's hard flat. Then at this point, you can look at the user and say, which side is he going to? If he's going right, then at this point, you know in your mind right here that you're going to be able to throw it to this receiver over here. And you're just waiting him to cut up the field and catch that ball. So it's just a one-two read, real simple. You know, look to the right if it's not open, and you're gonna be able to hit it to the left pretty easily. So what's the answer on defense? If you had a, you know, if this somebody was running this every single down, what would you do, right? So what would you do? Would you put the A on a hard flat, right? Take that away. You're going to take this player and you're going to user the A right here, and then you're gonna put the um the X basically on a vert hook, right? So this is how it's gonna look. So if this is what they're doing and they're saying, I'm only gonna stop this play, this is what they have to do. And that's gonna open up the entire offense for you when it comes to the rest of the game plan, the rest of what John Beast does. If they were to do this, what you're gonna see though, is that they're not double mabling the left side of the field, right? So double mabel means basically stack zones on both sides, right? 
And that's basically going to open up the ability to throw it to the running back, whether that's quickly to him if they're playing only 25 yards in depth, or if they're playing something like 10 or 15, then what's going to end up happening, you're going to be able to throw the wheel up the field. So watch basically what happens here. You look at the Y, if they're playing a little bit lower, you just wait and you throw it to him pretty easily over here. If they are pretty much going to, because they have a stack zone to on the right side of the field, it makes sense for them to have zeros and like 20s. And if that's the case, what's going to end up happening is we're just going to look at this one player here. So we're going to put this um, Van Noy again on a um, vertical hook. We're going to just take this guy and we're just going to kind of slowly move him back so you can kind of see it, right? So it's going to end up looking like this where they're going to slowly move back. And you can see because he's going 20 yards, you're going to be able to hit that guy pretty easily, right? So this play in itself, it's just one setup in John Beast's offense, right? It's one that he knows if he's going against Mike Blitz 3, that if he does this, they're going to have to sell out and have the perfect adjustment just to stop it. And if they do that, now that adjustment is going to open up everything else. So I wanted to kind of just so, show you how... When you have well thought out designed plays like John Beast does, it shows why he's so, as successful as he is and makes the defense have to go ahead and change and adjust on the fly. And even at the highest of highest levels that he plays against, he's still dominating because he's got the ability to, to be one step ahead. And if you want to learn this offense, obviously go to our website. Um, 995 unlocks every game plan that we have. So if you want to look at this and what Clef did on his bunch, if you're into bunch, then you're going to be able to kind of get both minds and kind of put them together because um, a lot of the stuff that Clef did is different than what uh, John Beast does, but it basically overlaps as far as some of the plays. Now, um, because of John Beast's offense was so large, we decided to, to break it up in halves. We released a bunch offset the first week. Next week, we're going to do the gun bunch halfback strong, which basically gives us the ability to have two really good offenses. And the only difference between them is which side the um, running back goes ahead and um, lines up so it's a really quick audible that you can use to really get twice the amount of plays it also is um a formation that's in the chiefs playbook so you kind of get double up if you guys are running the chiefs so really be excited about what's coming um you know on our website Drini is going to be coming up in a couple weeks as well so um it's a great time to check that out like i said 995 get you in the door uh, for a full month, get you everything um, when it comes to our game plans on our website. If you want more in-depth features, you can look at the tier two. Um, obviously, we've got some things that are, can really elevate you as a player, you know, but if you just want to try us out, go with the tier one. You can always uh, upgrade to tier two and, um, you know, definitely uh, get you started on and winning more games in Madden. We appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on the next video.